and inconveniences, hailing mid shoot. Hopefully it goes away. So today we're gonna to do a video on how to shoot product photography, especially on an open place like this, like a nice park. This is in my neighborhood, really nice, super nice day. Um, with all the chaos going on, it's nice to get out here, chill with some friends. All right, first things first, you're gonna to wanna to pick a location. I prefer a more nature, outdoorsy vibe in all of my shoots anyways, versus I don't like studios, unless it's like, I mean, if you're doing the product on like a rotation plate or with some stabilizers or some glide cams or something, but I like it outside. It's more fun. Your the, your models will have a better time. It's easier going. And I just think the overall idea is better outside. So pick your location is your first thing. Second is to get your brand. So the brand we're shooting with today is Sohos Sunglasses. Um, I like their sunglasses, they're a really good price. I was shopping around for some anyways because my old Ray-Bans broke. And yeah, I originally bought these to see if you, how they look. I think they're real, I think they're clean, they're stylish, they're really lightweight, they're affordable. Um, they look really nice, I like the lenses. Yeah, and I was just like, I picked these up I picked these up and looked from their Instagram and stuff and was just searching around. And from there I reached out, they saw my portfolio and the stuff I've worked with and I kind of pitched them that idea. So the second thing is to find your brand or company that you would be passionate to work with. And um, I like sunglasses, so that was a good start. Picked them out, messaged them. They were uh, about the deal. They sent me five more pairs of sunglasses, comped these, and uh, are gonna pay me to shoot on models for their sunglasses. So not only did I get the sunglasses for free, but I'm also getting paid, and uh, I mean, hanging out at the park, staying in nature, I like it anyways. So yeah, um, once you pick your location, once you get your brand or company that you wanna work with, this one, Soho Sunglasses, um, we'll do the shoot, and we'll follow through from the shoot from there. I'll show you kinda how to set up the models um, the positions they're kind of looking for, the angles, and the best way to show off the brand or company that you're working with. And we'll figure out how to help get you a deal and how to shoot product photography and how to set up models and things like that. Let's go. First take, we came out here. Um, the pictures went well. Same location, same spot. Um, it was an overcast day, but I started hailing. I lost all the audio, but the pictures and video are still good, so... We'll mix and match, put that in there. But yeah, same location. And just because it's not golden hour or overcast or anything doesn't mean you can't shoot. Um, you can shoot any time of the day. I prefer the overcast and stuff for like evening sunsets and stuff, but it's still okay. Like I said the other day, I prefer the outdoor shoots much more than your typical like indoor studio shoot because you can play with the foregrounds and the backgrounds, and as if you can see here, I'm playing off the reflections of the lake and the products and the model with the tree and the grass. So I mean, in between, in the photo, in between her and what we're playing off of, we have one, two, three, four different layers. So we have a tree, grass, rocks, and a lake all in the one shot. I'll have her move. See if we can maybe get some reflections. There's a cool rock right there. Again, like I said, play with play with what you got. So we got some water. Love water. Um, no oceans or lakes really around here, but we have some ply lakes that are cool. And I'll do these shots more focused in on the product. So in this case, it's gonna be the glasses, but I can still kind of get that cool background that you normally wouldn't see. So it's still highlighting the subjects and the product while playing off the background. 
and little things like this. So if you can see, we have their little brand, their logo on their products. Capture things like that and get the details. Always remember about the details. And like I was saying the other day, if you over provide, they'll be more um, inclined to do work in the future and they'll be more impressed because they weren't expecting more multiple shoots. I've done, this is the third day now. Um, yeah, do you want to sit on, we'll try to sit on this. So maybe like this side. Ah. Yeah. So yeah, provide multiple locations, multiple setups, multiple shots. And see what you can mix up. Shutter so fast. So right here, we got the male model. We did the female model a couple days ago, but um, we're gonna do him right here. He's laying back. We got a really cool. <laughs> um, let me change the setting. Modeling for male. Um, see, I got the sunglasses on. We got a pretty cool setup in the background. This person is just yelling. Why are you yelling? And uh, have him do that, act like just put him on, looking off the distance. Ooh, ooh. Looking in the sun, looking real nice, okay. And the brand is kind of looking for something adventurous. That's what these two models of, that's what these two pairs of glasses are. They're kind of modeled towards like more adventure uh, X type. All right, if you could walk, all right, we're gonna get a little. And then it'll turn back around this way. So I'm gonna walk this way. We're on a top of a bridge, kind of show that. <laughs> and if you could come, I'm gonna have him come right in the middle. And if you could sit down. Got a lot. It's nice, yes, yes. And shots like these, yeah, like I said the other day, I prefer way more that we're in nature, somewhere like a park, like so. Um, the sun's out, the weather's actually nice. I definitely prefer this over a studio, even though there's a couple people in the background or whatever, but. And then your focus, you're always gonna wanna have your focus on the product, of course, so. In this scenario, it's the glasses. Um, focusing on the glasses, get some good creative shots and make sure the product is the focus of the shoot. Um, here, I'm gonna get closer, get some detailed shots. Ooh, the glare, I like the glare a lot. And then if you could put them like, I like, let's do kind of like on the top of your head, almost kind of like a headband maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and then look right at me. We'll see if this works. Get some, they mentioned a few of my previous posts with uh, the glasses off. I like that a lot. Let's do that with this pair too. Yeah, those are good. So I got some distant shots, and then I'll get some up close shots with the other ones too. So you always want to mix it up. Yeah, if you can, um, try to mix up your location shoots. You don't have to, but it can provide the company you're working for more variety of an option as far as the shots that they're wanting. You can give them more than they're asking for. They're usually not um, anticipating or accepting or expecting more than one location. So if you can give them a few off their base suggestion and uh, exceed their expectations. That's gonna make them wanna come back to you. That's gonna make them spread the word and gonna make your work more valuable. It's gonna make it stand out more. And from there, other companies will see that and you can take that opportunity and apply it to other companies. All right, that's my quick tips and tricks to how to shoot better product photography, whether it's like a local brand that you're working with that you can reach out to or someone through Instagram, like in this case with the sunglasses. Um, big shout out to Addy, big shout out to Josh, who's not here, but they were the models in this video, so I'll drop their stuff in the description, the link's in the description, go check out their stuff. You can also check out the uh, Sohos 
Vision is what they're called on Instagram if you want to check out their sunglasses that will also be in the description and if you like this video make sure to drop a thumbs up hit that subscribe button for more and hopefully produce some more content in this weird uh, scenario so yeah see you later